Hi guys, it is Sharon back with Little Britain Company and today I have the beginnings of a massive Timu haul. Um, I had collected a whole bunch of stuff. Honestly, I think it's hundreds of things in, <clears throat> in my uh, Timu cart. And then Timu, and I was just kind of playing with my cart and it had been over a couple of weeks. And then Timu sent me some massive coupons. And I was like, I'm going to go ahead and get a lot of this. And I did. And I did. So um, I'm going to jump in because this is truly a massive haul. Um, as usual, I will save the craft items. This is the beginning of it because, of course, they send it to me in pieces. Um, so this is the beginning of the haul. There's going to be two more, I think, coming um, and they kind of combine things. Uh, I am doing something a little different today. I'm not going to tell you prices. It just, it takes me hours to price, especially when they've taken several orders and then they've kind of mixed them up and combined them. That just takes a really long time. And, um, I think you all, it's easier for you all. If I just go through and make sure that there's a list. So there will be, there will be a list in the, um, description box and it will have everything that I show you, hopefully, unless it's sold out. <clears throat> if it's sold out, I can't, it's hard for me to share it. I can try. Sometimes it lets me do it if I'm using my receipt like I do. But you'll be able to see all the prices, what I paid. And I'm going to say it like this, because since then I keep getting notifications. This has gone down or this has gone down. If you watch your notifications every single day, and I actually check them twice a day, um, I often come across things that are only there for a day. And if you catch it, you get the discount. So you just have to, you just have to check your receipt. I mean, check your, where it says, you know, check your order. And then you'll find the place where it says price adjustment. Click on that and adjust your price. And since then, I've gotten an additional $30 back. I think it's actually like 31 or 32 now. And often it's little bits at a time, 15 cents here, 25 cents there. Sometimes it's it's a good dump, like four or $5, because several things in your order like dropped. Um, one thing went on a special. I had one thing that I haven't got in yet, but it went on a deep special and it like dropped half price, um, which was fabulous. So anyway, just saying that, just check those things because it may be, you know, maybe small amounts. Sometimes it literally is a penny. Um, but, you know, I'm petty like that. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. And it all built up. Um, today's earrings are from uh, my, I think my last Timu Christmas haul. I think these are wonderful, these these Santas. Um, so let me dive in. I'm just going to grab what's in front of me. Like I said, crafts are at the end uh, because I know not everyone loves the crafting portion, but I love it if you stay with us and hang out with us while we're looking through it. And you might see something that I mentioned I'm going to make something out of and say, I want what you're going to make. Um, and then just contact me and we'll take it from there. Um, I will say I got this random charger and I have yet to figure out what it goes to. It was just rolling around in the bag, um, not attached to anything. So hopefully I'll figure that out. Uh, all right. So um, I did. Uh, so in order to, to do what I do, making sure the crafts are last, I, I do pre-sort everything, but I haven't looked through it. So let's fragile handle with care. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, in the box. <laughs> I'm just going to break that box open. Oh, I know what these are. Okay, so these, oh, <laughs> you can see my messy. Let me move it really close so all you can see is that reflection. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to drop them. These are meant to go on your car and to be an additional reflective so that you can see further back. You know how, you know, the circle within your rear view mirror or your, um, your side mirrors. We'll see how well they work. They have, uh, you know, they've got the um, foam on them to attach them. They do move. You can, you know, figure out what section, what side you want that to go on. They feel, they're very plasticky. We will see. My husband, I will hand those over to my husband to position them. Not because I can't, just because, you know, I'll, I'll let him do it. I'm good that way. Um, okay, so that's kind of cool. Next, <laughs> so cute. All right, let me take this out of the bag for you. This is this cute little, I, 
I told you I'm not going to tell you prices, and I and I really don't. If I but I'm gonna if I remember something, I'll let you know. And I think this one I can't get into it. I think this one was like 33 cents, but it was random. You were going to get whichever one they sent you. I didn't realize it was so short, but it's so cute. Look how cute that little avocado is. Oh my goodness. He's adorable. So, and then you get the multiple colors. So this would be so cute if you have, a, you know, for any child. I was going to say, if you have a child who likes avocados, so it doesn't really matter. For any child, this is just so cute, especially in a, as a stocking stuffer. This is fabulous. And of course, I am all about trying to build up some stocking stuffers right now. Those are the hardest things for me. The big presents are, I think, kind of take care of themselves, especially as my kids get older. They, they know what they want. And I'd rather get them what they want than get them something they don't want. Although I always have surprises in there. I have a general idea. And sometimes when, um, when my eldest was little and it was just the two of us, I would say to him, make me a list. Give me a whole big, you know, actually, I think I would say make Santa a big list. And Santa will choose several things from your list. You're not going to get the entire list. Nobody gets an entire list. But, you know, give Santa some ideas about what you want and be specific. And that worked really well for us because I was able to get him exactly what he wanted. But I could watch prices and price points and see what I thought was appropriate and things like that. So, And I still do that with the kids. You know, make me a list. I will see from that list what will, <laughs> you know, what's coming. So in that vein... Um, one of Little Brit's friends, um, they uh, he doesn't live nearby, so they they are constantly you know um, on Facetime, and so they're they're kind of looking into each other's rooms. So he has this um, wall up uh, his um, room is rimmed, room is rimmed in lights. And these blue lights and and a little bit now we're talking about that he said i kind of think that's cool i don't know that i want exactly that effect but having some lights some of the smaller lights a little bit more british fairy lights would be fun so i found this now i think these are i asked him if he wanted multicolor or pure white i thought we ordered multicolor i really thought we ordered multicolor i'm gonna have to go back and look at it because these are pure white if he doesn't like them, they were still really cheap, and we use these at Christmas time anyway. But I thought that would be, you know, something cute to put into his Christmas. I'm going to um, give you a brief look at these, and then I'm going when I do the down camera right before I do crafts, I'll show you all of these. I bought two bags. I just dropped something. I bought two bags of these. Um, these are the. The, like the buttons that go into your Crocs. And I think they go into those bags, the Bode Boda, the, the big bag, the big bada boom bags. <laughs> the, <laughs> I would go get mine, but I would have to go beyond behind the lights and everything. Those big summer bags that we're all carrying, like they're kind of plastically, they're full of holes. They I think they start with the B. Anyway, I think that these fit in there too, so you can put like all these little charms. They're shoe charms. But I think there are also bag charms for those. I'm going to have to, um, one moment, please. Apparently, this would like to, to uh, be seen next as I knock the camera around. My new camera stand came in yesterday. I just haven't set it up, but I'm really excited. Because it's going to mean that this camera stand does not have to be attached to the table, which means every time I touch the table, I'm not going to, like, make you guys go, oh, <laughs> all over the place. I got another one of these. Actually, I got two. One of them, if you can see it, this I thought it matched what I was wearing pretty well, so I went ahead and wore it. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, I like that. <laughs> so I did buy two of these, and again, I think they were cheap. They were under a dollar, um, I think. I love, I really love these. I just really, they're matte. They feel so good. <laughs> when I, I mean, they're just, they're kind of soft. They're very smooth. Um, but most importantly for me, I like the look of them. I like that the way they grip my hair and they don't just, other ones don't hold strong enough, long enough. Um, and these do. So I've actually have now amassed a little collection. I've got the small ones, which I got, I actually have some of them still sitting next to me. Oh, look, they match. I have the small ones that I got in a previous um, haul. And then I got this. 
And I think what I'm going to do, because sometimes I talk about things from previous hauls, I'm going to go ahead and, and do a playlist of all of my hauls because Timu still has all of those things in. So it's kind of cool. It's not like, you know, Dollar Tree, it's a hit or miss. Um, bargain things that you run into, they're a hit or miss. With Timu, it's probably still going to be there somewhere. So I'm going to try to go ahead and sort of link some of those hauls. Um, so that so that if you want to see everything I've gotten over the past six or seven months since I started ordering through Timu, you can. <laughs> All right. So along with hair, I decided to try one of these. I have not tried this. I don't know what it's going to be like. I think they call it a banana clip. Um, I don't know how this works. <laughs> oh, there we go. So you unlock it here. Um, pull your hair in in the back and then you lock it back up again. Um, and it's just another different look, but it doesn't have to sort of hang. I've, I've been doing this a lot. It's been in a lot of my videos. I noticed I went back and was looking through, you know, just to see. And I did notice that I'm doing this a lot. So, you know, maybe this will be nice and different. It just all depends on whether it holds. If it stays in, I'm golden. If it doesn't, eh. Um, let's see. What else do we have? This is, oh, yes. This is, if, am I right about this? This is a cherry picker, I think. It just says red. <laughs> this is, I believe, if it didn't fall apart, literally just fell off. Okay, let's see. I guess it just wasn't in its holding now. I guess it's just a do it yourself, put it together. So I believe it's a cherry picker. I mean, a cherry pit picker cherry pit picker. Um, you know, you just stick it in and grab the cherry and pull it back out again. That is big. I will test it and I will let you know. I had a, in a previous haul, I got one of the strawberry ones. It's supposed to take the strawberry heads off and it works beautifully. It's a really simple design and I love it. And it was again, like under a dollar. Um, but I absolutely love that one. It, it just works so well. And it just really pulls off the head of the cherry the strawberry. It just pulls off the head of the strawberry and um, it's just really nice. Loving it. I went through a whole thing of strawberries. I was like, I need to go buy more strawberries. This is just fun. <laughs> it's just fun. You got to find your fun. <laughs> you got to find your fun. All right. Sorry, I digress. So I picked up one of these and this is intended to put over the top of cloth when you're ironing. Um, sometimes you know, if you're ironing something, I think this is intended. Um, if what you're ironing is supposed to be um, like satins and things, I guess, things that, that could easily get burned. Uh, this one actually is a little bit, I worry a little bit about this one. Um, but then there are other, <coughs> excuse me, other cloths that I might want to use this for. Anyway, I just thought I would test it. I thought this looked interesting. I like the idea. And, um, and I think I'm going to give that a shot. I'll just, I'll let you know what I think and what I use it on. Um, you know, we'll see. This, this is another one, um, that I was thinking about as a Christmas gift. And again, I think this was under 50 cents. I don't think it was particularly expensive. And you're like, well, okay, that's great, Sharon. What is it? Let me take it out of its bag. Let me wrestle it out of its bag. This is so cool. So you put this tip into your potted plant. It's got, can you see that? It's got a hole right there. And when you want to water your plant, you simply pour water into the leaf and it trickles in. Isn't that cool? I love the simplicity and the beauty of this. I really, I think it will enhance what's there. I mean, I also have, you know, the crystal balls where you fill up the ball and you stick it in and it, and it slowly releases. But this one for plants that you just, you know, you want to water regularly. I just like this. And it's just so pretty. And I thought that would be really cool. Um, stocking stuffer for, you know, maybe my daughter-in-law, you know, I think she's, she's got plants that indoor plants and this might be something nice or, uh, or my daughter or my sons or, you know, anyone who's doing, but just decorative, maybe my, maybe some of my sisters. Um, I have one sister who is, I don't know how to put it. Um, she's, she's big time with one of the gardening associations. I'll put it like that. Um, or she does a lot, 
a lot for them. Um, but this might be something that would be just perfect for her because I just love the aesthetic of it. I just do. Anyway, really, really pretty. I will try it on one of my plants maybe today and I will give you an update. I love giving you updates. It's fun. Um, what's next? Let's see. Oh, okay. I bought two of these and I'm pretty excited about these even though they're a little bit short. But I have to remember the difference in ovens. So this this, which is not the length of, of my oven trays, I think the bullet, what do you call that? Racks, my oven racks. Sometimes it just takes me a minute to rack my brain. <laughs> I crack myself up. <laughs> I hope I'm cracking you up too with me. Anyway, um, you put it over the top. It's a silicone based, it's, it's meant to get hot. Um, as hot as you need to get it. You put it over the top of that, that first rack so that you won't burn yourself. How many of us have burned ourselves reaching into an oven to do something and you accidentally, right here or here, my mother used to do that all the time. I wish I wish these had been around then. Um, but we reach in and we just accidentally, you know, we're just testing something, you're looking at something and you just accidentally touch that little edge. Well, this is meant to stop you from getting a burn from it. So you put this on there and it's a little protective cover. Now, this does not cover the whole thing, but I think right in the middle of it, because it'll cover a decent portion of it, right in the middle of it, um, I think that's really where you would do that anywhere. You might have a problem. So I bought two of those. Um, of course, one for the top rack and one for the bottom rack. And I'm pretty excited, of, you know, excited to try those. We replaced the refrigerator. Uh, we have a new floor. We should have painted before we did anything, but we were too excited to get the floor down. Uh, but we do have, you know, there are, there are some, there's more work being done in the kitchen. It's a slow process. Um, but along with that, we're going to, the next thing to replace is going to be our oven because we want the oven that has the full convection oven on top. I think it's convection on top and then regular on the bottom. Anyway, something like that. We both really, we've looked at that one and we say that's really what we want because then we can have two almost full ovens. Um, and still have the usage that we want. So just very excited. But I think this will definitely come in handy for those. Okay, next in our beach theme, because we're actually going to the beach this weekend. And I'm excited because I'm going to test some of the things that we've been talking about. When I come back, I'll do a, I'll do a beach thing for you guys next week. And it'll be after July. So July 31st, I will have one final Christmas in July video, and then we'll go uh, back to regular videos. And actually I have, um, and then sometime next week, I have a huge Halloween Timu haul coming out. Huge and the cutest stinking stuff. Okay, anyway, I digress. For the beach, um, I picked up, this is meant to be, this is a microfiber sports towel. When we went to Disney, golly, that was that was a few years ago we went to Disney, but the last time we were in Disney, I picked up three or four of this in the smaller ones, like, you know, um, micro towels that we could carry around with us because you get hot and sweaty. You get hot and sweaty. Um, and those worked pretty well. This one I picked up, that is so weird feeling. Um, so, I mean, it doesn't look like a towel to me, but I'm just thinking old versions of towels. And I hope it works. It's literally meant to dry you off super fast. Um, we're in the pool a lot. Um, we love to swim. And we are heading to the beach this weekend, so I thought we would try it. I'm trying to get Little Bird, who loves, loves being in the water, to join uh, one of the swim teams. So, I'll let you know how that goes. There you go. Um... And then, okay, here we go. I bought myself, this is not the bigger one that I got. This is a secondary one to move around with me so I can actually go to other surfaces in the house if I need to. There are some things that I need more space or, or it's just easier to do in the kitchen or it's easier to do so on the other uh, table across from me. And instead of moving everything around, I just wanted something easy. I have a selfie stick, but it doesn't work as well. Um, 
And I have heard really good things about this one. All right. So this is kind of a selfie stick. You can use it as a selfie stick. See, it's very nice and compact. So even though I actually don't normally wear a purse anymore, sometimes I do if I have, you know, if we're going somewhere and I need to carry some things, I'll, I'll have a small purse with me. Anyway, this is small. It'll fit in a purse. Um, it's fits a camera. It'll certainly fit my camera. It's got a little light on it and it came with a battery. And <clears throat> that's an easy, that's an easy to find battery. What's, what is that? Let's see if I can, three volt. It looks like three volt. Um, but here is what I was most interested in. How does it release? Instructions are, would be good. Wait, does it say? So it's got a shutter button. So I can, how do you, oh, there we go. Look at that guys. This is what I was looking for. <clears throat> so I can actually set it down and balance it. And yeah, and it will stand on its own and it will move. And I think it's extendable. Look at that. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I, you know, I know this is not something that we don't care. I know that, that this is carried here in the States, but this was a really good price. I think it, I, I don't remember what it was, but I, I think it was like $6 or something really inexpensive. And I'm just super excited about this just because I know that this is something that I can carry and I can use. And it will just, I think, make my life easier. I hope. It Again, it's not the big stand. We actually ordered the big stand from Amazon. Um only because I'm so tired of the camera going oh, 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 all over the place. And I know you guys are too. <laughs> I hate that. Um, okay, so. And remember, this is just the first batch that came in. And we're not getting. Okay. <sighs> um, next, we're going to get. <laughs> Do you love the big size? I'm like. <gasps> so next. We have a ring. Let's see. Now this is a size 10. I kind of like it. I don't know if I like it against the silver. I always wear silver um, <clears throat> on this hand. I wear silver on this hand and gold on this one. Um, hmm. It's not bad. It's It's just, it's weirdly flat. Can you see that? As, as opposed to rounded, but it doesn't, it feels good. That is an interesting ring. I wonder what the design is from. All right, I'm liking the ring. I'm, say, I'm thinking, heck yeah. I have another, <laughs> it's so funny. I go from one extreme to the next with you, don't I? By the way, I still have not found my phone. I'm going to have to buy another batch of it. I had like a pile of it, and I really don't know what happened to it. I mean, it was, it was here in the, it, like right here next to me. And then it was gone. <laughs> I just, I've, I've been puzzling this out and um, I haven't asked little Brent. I asked my husband I, and I don't think, I don't remember us finishing that conversation. So I don't know. I mean, I think that, that, that I asked him and then something else came up and we forgot to have a conversation. I've got to remember to have that conversation, don't I? Because I do have earrings to show you, not many of it. Anyway, right now it's rings. Look how pretty this is. Oh my golly. This is a gorgeous ring. It feels good. It's got some weight to it. That's one thing I actually do look for in a ring. Oh, wow. It is very high. I think the last one I got was high. As a matter of fact, is this... I didn't buy two of the same thing, did I? Did I? If I did, I did. This is a size 10. Now it's interesting because the last one was also a size 10 and it fit perfectly. It wasn't, it wasn't moving around. This one, I think it's just because it's so heavy. It keeps wanting to like, you know, roam around. This one, um, I would push it down, but I'm worried about getting it off. Normally I wear a, a 12 on this finger, but this one's 
feels like it could fit if I decided to push it down. And I don't want to, I don't want to do it. I'm scared. <laughs> All right, moving on. Um, let's see what these are. These were just super fun. I, Timu gets me every time because I think I know what I'm looking at. I think I know the size of things and then I get something and I'm like, no, that's not what I thought it was. It's these. They're pretty. I mean, I do wear big earrings sometimes. I don't know. I might try them. Sometimes I look at them in the bag and I'm like, oh, no. And then I put them next to me. I'm like, oh, that's not bad. <laughs> so, especially when I hear, when I have my hair up, having like a bigger earring is kind of cool because it's... Uh, <laughs> Whoa, well, I don't know why it's kind of cool. I just kind of like it. So there. All right, and this last pair of earrings is Halloween. Now, this is interesting. I know I ordered two of these, and I'm hoping the other one comes in in the other bag. Um, and because here is what I ordered. These actually come like this. You get the Santa head, and you get the ho-ho-ho. Um, and so I thought these were cool, but I also thought... I probably are, am going to, at some point, want to wear two Santas or two Ho-Ho-Hos. So I ordered two so I could, you know, put them back together and apart again. And only one came in. So I'm going to have to double check my order, but I'm sure I ordered two of those. Um, so I'll double check that order and take a look at it. Um, okay, so for this particular... Oh, no, I'm not done. I almost said I was done. That would just be such a lie. All right. So I picked up pair of shorts for a little bit, which are probably going to be way too big, but I could not resist that London one. Now, he is such a tall kid that we're now buying everything in adult smalls. He's 12. He's 12. He's taller than his sister. He's taller than Grandma Lynn. <laughs> he's not big. You've seen him. I mean, you've seen, you've seen him. So he's not big, but he is tall. So we have to, anyway, so we're, so I'm just like, I'm just going to get smalls. Um, so this is their small. Um, and the one thing I thought, okay, we might get away with it is because this is a drawstring. So he can make it as small as he needs to. These are long shorts, which is kind of nice. Um, and he also really likes to sleep in shorts these days. So he is no longer a pajama kid. He wants to sleep in his shorts. I guess he's kind of like pajamas. I kind of like this bag. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to see if I can do something with it. <laughs> That's just how I roll. Okay, and what's this one? Oh, so I got these for me, and I, you know, the, the hardest thing for me ordering clothing through Timu, oh, the black dress. If you saw the other, you know, again, one of my previous videos, uh, previous hauls, I got a black dress, which I thought was going to be super cute. One, it's a, it's really a little too big. I should have ordered at least a size or two down. Um, but it, it's short. And, um, and I think, I think this is my fault because of how big it is. It actually, um, I have to put that, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, it, it doesn't, it's not going to cover the girls properly on the sides because it kind of it dips too far in. So even pulling, and then if I pull the straps up, and I could fix the straps and raise it more so it actually does cover properly, like the underarm area properly. That just means it's super, super short. So um, that's not a win for me. Um, I mean, it, it's comfortable, and I'm I'm gonna keep it. And I'm because of the material, I'm just gonna sleep in it. I think my husband likes it. He's not gonna wear it. He just likes it on me. Sorry. <laughs> um, so, but, but the, but having said that, also it's super thin. Having said that, one of the biggest problems I have with Timu is they don't tell you what material you're ordering for the most part. Um, so I'm getting a better idea of sizing. Sometimes I see clothing on there. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. And my husband has liked the t-shirts he's gotten very much. So we're still kind of going with that. This one, I was expecting it to be more of a, um, maybe a sweatshirt material. And it's just slinky on the outside. 
Um, he, he's not going to care. He'll, he's just going to sleep in it. Um, but these, I was really hoping, I don't know, I was hoping for something. I don't know. They may still work. Okay, anyway, let's get to the point. These pants, these are like culotte type things. And again, I think I ordered, we'll see. I might have ordered too big for me. I have a tendency to do that. Um, and because normally I'm like, you know, if it's a little bit big, I, I sew. I can, you know, bring it in. Um, this is funky material, though, for that. I'll see if I like it. This is really stretchy. This is almost like gym material. That's what it is. This feels like, you know, it, it looks like it should be a little bit dressy, and then it feels like it's something you're going to the gym in. Um, but I haven't tried them on. I might end up loving them. So, you know. Anyway, I was saying... I don't mind, you know, if it's a little bit big, I can usually fix it like with the dress. I thought, I, you know, I can fix these straps and that'll bring this part in. And, um, but I can't, I can't add material that's too short and I can't change the material. And I very much am a cotton person. I love cotton. I love natural fibers. And um, I'm not big on slinky. This is actually one of the only like slinky-ish shirts that I have. Okay. <laughs> So, um, the next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to do the camera down, and we're going to take a look at all of these adorable little um, shoe charms that we got. And then, uh, and then I will move into the crafting items, because these are just for everybody to see. And um, All right, let's take a look. Okay, so to show you these cool little uh, shoe charms, I am going to use... Uh, my wonderful little charm shower. This is what I use uh, when I'm doing craft, the craft showing. Um, wow, there's a lot here. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, we've, we've got a little baby Grinch. We've got a dabbing elf. Um, little angelic Grinch. Scare, scary skeleton. That is the most adorable Santa. I love him. Um, we've got a dwarf. That actually looks like a UVA dwarf. <laughs> More dwarves, elves, dwarves. Um, this says Merry Christmas. Isn't that cute? Okay, more Grinch. So this is the pack. When, if you're looking for this in my uh, list, you're going to find this one is the one that has all the Grinches in it. Aren't those cute? Max. Oh my word, that is adorable. That is stinking adorable. Dabbing Santa. This was, I want to say this was five or six dollars. This was not, you know, the whole, but it's a whole bag of stuff. This was a lot. I would recount it, but you all are seeing it. Oh, it goes like that. Isn't that cute? So more Grinch. There's a lot of Grinch in this one. And these are, you don't choose. It's, it's sort of this mixed bag. You get what you get. I love this one. Merry Christmas, everyone. Kind of, kind of a cool Santa. Another skeleton Santa. Grinch and Jack. Okay, so that was this bag. All right, here's the, again, a few of you have asked to see the back of it. I can't actually read those numbers. Maybe if you've got it on your screen and you want to try to um, screenshot that so that you can see those. All right, so that's bag number one. And this one is bag number two. It's interesting they came packaged so differently. And that really just depends on the um, company that they're working with. Let's get this one out of here. That might be the ugliest reindeer I've ever seen. <laughs> All right, we got a cute little stocking, a weird yellow deer present. I like the candy cane. All right, Christmas balls. Snowman. That's pretty. Oh, I like just the Santa hat. And the Christmas bells. Another snowman. Some of these are really super cute, and some of them are weird. Like this Santa is kind of weird. 
but sometimes it's nice to have things that are a little bit different. This one has a lot of different coloring on it, um, which I think is interesting. Not quite what I expected. <laughs> Maybe cartoonish is the best way to describe it. I like that reindeer better. He's more traditional. I guess I, I like the uh, the traditional looks of them. This one looks like something didn't get finished there. There we go. Um, that's an interesting orange stocking, but if you want an orange stocking, I love that one. He's cute. All right, I will say... That one's pretty cute. Oh, I love the little North Pole sign. Look at that one. Nice little USA um, ornament. Yellow gingerbread house. And oh, an adorable little penguin. Okay, so I think these were, um, oh, and another penguin. Oh, this was a hit or miss. I, I want to say this batch was cheaper, but I like the other batch better. It had a lot of Grinch in it but it had some really cute traditional things. This one has a lot of interesting colors in it. So I don't know that I would order again from this particular company, but there were a number of different companies that did these uh, Christmas shoe charms. And um, honestly, I think you can just look it up by going in and saying Christmas shoe charms and, uh, and those will come up. All right, I am about to embark on the crafting portion of the show, <laughs> um, but please, please stick around. I love to have all of you join us and just hang out for the conversation. Um, okay, so this is a batch of uh, very small um, washi tape. Is this one or two? I swear that looks like, oh, it's just one. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some of the washi tapes that we got in this one. It was not expensive but you couldn't pick the ones you wanted. You were at their mercy for whatever they send you. That one's kind of cool. I was looking for something that would be a nice addition to some of my um, cards, and we'll see. This is, this is two, okay, this is two. I like the blue. These are interesting in that um, you have almost this extra line here, and I wonder I really am wondering whether these are off cuts um, at the end of something when they're doing like a series of washi tape and they're cutting along it to make the the, um, the thickness, the width of the washi tape, that this would be an end cut. And it kind of looks like that to me when I see all three of these have that same kind of yellowish on the end of them. That is interesting. I mean, it's an interesting way to, to still sell off the rest of your product. Uh, God, you gotta respect that. So, and I guess that's why you would get, so you can see this is two different washi tapes. It looks like they started one section and ended another. Same with these. This one's kind of shiny. All right, so I do think, I think I'm right about that. I think that these are probably, that's why they're doing such thin ones um, because that's what you're you're getting. You know, they, they say they're gonna send you these really thin ones, but I am not, um, oh, it's, it's actually two different kinds right there. I'm not super crazy about, about that. I'll find a use for these. Um, and I don't think they were, you know, I, I think they were pretty cheap. So, you know, certainly worth it. And you all might, if you can think of, of uh, things to use for these right, right off the top of your head, even when they've got like a um, difference actually in the washi tape, please let me know, you know, give me some suggestions. Cause I don't, I don't want to waste anything. <clears throat> I had been eyeballing this set of washi tape and I am so stinking happy that I went ahead and got it. This, these fall ones are just adorable. The trees, leaves, a different kind of leaf. You've got the, um, plaid. This is almost like, um, it's almost gold dots on here. You've got smaller leaves, um, flowers and flowers and then trees, and there looks like there's a little scarecrow right there. These are absolutely fabulous. That one, that's the one that had a little scarecrow. It's got some other things in between there. That's gonna be interesting to use. Um, but I really, I'm really excited about that washi tape. I have some fall card ideas for that one. Okay, so I also got 
stickers. <laughs> I can't say no to some good stickers. Um, so this pack, in my mind, I was thinking um, Dorothy. It actually says Forest Adventure on it. So, But I was definitely thinking this would be really cute for, not Dorothy, for my um, Alice in Wonderland. And it's just all different mushrooms. I watched one of my own videos the other day. I, I've, I've said that I, I like to watch them sometimes just to see what I'm doing, see what I need to improve. And I realized that for some things I was going so fast, you just couldn't see it. You know, and I, and I realized even though it makes the video just a touch longer, I think for me, I thought I would rather, if I was the one watching this from the outside, um, I would rather just see it than brush through it. But that's okay. I mean, I, I always have some video or another showing in the background when I'm doing things. And I do like to see what's out there. I also don't like to... It's always a little uncomfortable for me, even now with Timu, and I, although I do it, it's an uncomfortable feeling ordering something that I'm not exactly sure what I'm getting. Um, that's just me. Hopefully you all don't have those issues. <laughs> but, um, but I like to see what I'm going to get. So that's a cute little mushroom one. I had seen um, enough pictures of this one to have a decent idea and I knew how, the sizes that they were going to be. The size for this one at least was not a shocker. All right, next one is this, I have no idea. What is this? One size, it's one size, I think it's Christmas. Cause we are still doing Christmas here. So we've got all sorts, I'm showing you all sorts of great Christmas ideas. Um, my friend Kate, who I mentioned I know a lot, um, came up with an idea for the shoe charms and I'm gonna trust test it out and then I will show you if it works out. But if it does, it's her idea. Um, if it doesn't, then no one will know. <laughs> All right, I love that Santa. Look at these are so cute. Oh my golly. Oh, that's cute. Little gnomes, snowmen, reindeer. Oh, handsome reindeer. Look at the little train, the gingerbread train. Panda. It's a reindeer who's attached to red nose. That's cute. Bell, reindeer. Oh, I like the um the sayings. Those are really nice for cards. That's cute. I actually don't know if I love this whole thing, but I can easily fussy cut around this bottom part and just use this top part, use it something else. Um, that's weird. I'm probably not gonna use the eyeball in the bell look. Mistletoe, oh my golly, I love that Santa so much. That's why I got it. It had a corgi with antlers. Cute. This is a very British one, I th I'm thinking. Um, I love the Christmas pudding. But then you get that American thrown in there. I love the tree, the tree, the truck, the gnome. That's actually really cute little. Um, I really like that stocking. This one's a little funky. <laughs> I like, oh, maybe, oh, that's meant to be the sack, not the stocking. Oh, good dog. Santa with his hot cocoa. A green, st a, a green snowflake. Okay. It looks like a dog pretending to be a reindeer. That's cute. Oh, look at that gingerbread guy. Oh, I love that. <gasps> look at the corgi. All right, these are fabulous. And I am no longer seeing, uh, when I first started doing these, I would see serious mistakes in the uh, in some of the stickers. Some of them, they're, they're off, they were off cut. Um, I do think Timu pays attention when companies are not giving quality product. Um, he's cute. I like that candy cane. Look at that as a wonderful Santa sack. That is so cute. Little Santa. I love the tree. Some of these Santas are so cute. Little stocking. I love the cow mailing his Christmas. <laughs> it's like Santa just yelling, stop. Cute mittens. That is an adorable reindeer. That reindeer very much reminds me of, um, Doodlebug. And Merry Christmas. Okay, that is a huge hit for me. I love that whole pack. I'm leaving it out as I'm making cards. I'm going to leave that one sitting there for card making. Oh, this actually should have gone earlier. 
This was with the regular stuff. I'm not going to take it out. This is um, a litmus solution. This is litmus paper for indicators. We use this with a pool, and I wanted to test it out and see if it would work for, uh, for some science experiments at school because this was really inexpensive. Throw that one out there for a minute. All right, I have two packs of British stickers I purchased. So let's take a quick look at what's in these. Love him. I do. I make a series of British notebooks. Um, and I always use these as embellishments, these kinds of stickers. They're, uh, the ones that I was ordering with, through um, Amazon were just quite expensive. And these were so reasonable. And I think some of them are exactly the same, not all of them. I don't love that. Cute. Oh my gosh. That is interesting. Okay. I've never seen a mailbox like that in England. The British mailboxes don't look like that. That looks like ours. So that's really interesting. They're bigger and taller and rounder. Love that one. These are really cute. I love London. I miss London. Do not mess with these guys, by the way. If you visit London, really don't mess with them. Because they can, they have carte blanche to um, stop you from messing with them. People think it's funny. Oh, they'll never move. They will. If you get too close, if you bother their horses, if you do things, if you try to take your picture directly on top, I mean, they know people are going to take pictures near them, but don't, don't get too close. They're still, you know, they're still human beings. And so they have a right to move you back. And those guns are loaded. They're not going to shoot you, but they will forcefully put you back, push you back. Um, just saying, I have never been pushed, but I've seen it happen. Um, okay. So that's cute. Oh, I love the teacup with London inside. That's cute. That's what the mailboxes look like. Find them everywhere, but that is what the mailboxes look like in England. London baby. I've had that one before. These are really cute. Oh my golly. This is going to save me a fortune. I think the sticker packs that I was buying were costing like maybe $8. And I don't think I got 50 stickers in them. I think it was like 30 and some of them are apps. I know for sure that's one because it's on one of my, my uh, notebooks. Again, that's interesting. I mean, maybe they're somewhere in the country. I'll ask my husband if he's ever seen those in the um, in England. But, you know, as far as I know, they do not use mailboxes like that. I had never, I've never seen one like that. That's cool. I really like this set. This set, this set is wonderful. I really like the little London fog. Oh, yeah, it can get foggy. Yes. Most of the, well, the homes that I went into, everybody still had a rotary phone. It was hilarious. <clears throat> now, we haven't lived in England for 10 years. Um, 10 years? Nine years? Nine, 10 years. Um, but uh, as far as the, um, you know, going into, into family homes and going into people's homes, they all still had this, but it's beginning to get phased out. He's a Queen's Guard, or I guess now that, no. They decided not to rename them. He'll still be a Queen's Guard, even though it's Kings now. They decided to keep him as the Queen's Guard. That's cool. These are fabulous. Oh, I really love that one. I'd use that one. All right, so I am definitely going to make some more of my British notebooks. I'm excited now. All right, so that was one batch. Put that one aside. Here's another batch. I'm so glad I uh, ordered these to test them. Now, I do wish they were more matte. Some of those were, and most of them were shiny. And I'm not big on the shiny, but that's pretty much all you can get. Cute. Was he in the last one? I love that one. I can do a border on that one. So... Okay, this is interesting. So that one I haven't seen, but that one was definitely in the last one. So was that one. That one wasn't. So there's definitely some, you know, some of these have the exact same. That was in the last one. That one wasn't. So that was definitely in the last one because I spent some time talking about it. This is interesting. Oh, I like that one. I liked the teacups. So those are nice. The London Fog. Two of those? This one's interesting. I feel like um, I don't like repeats in them. Certainly a lot of similarity between the two. But they're not supposed to be the same set. There's a... 
there's a lot of similarity between these. That's why I'm moving faster, so guys. Like that one. I love that one, so I'm really happy, and I really love that one. That was in the other one too. She was there. Gotten that one. Okay, so a lot of similarity between the two sets. That is very interesting. I'll have to figure out I liked the first one better, I guess. I think it had a few more of the things that I would prefer, but you know, if they're so close, I don't know that I should be I don't know that I should be making much of a distinction between those two. <laughs> Alright, this next, this is the last batch of stickers. And this is a um what do they call this one? They uh, often they don't have names on this. This is meant to be um, tickets. And I thought these would be super cool for my junk journals. I love the urban trains. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me just knock that around. There we go. Love the cinema. When my eldest was growing up, I've always been a big movie goer and he was too. And so we would, uh, movies were kind of our thing. We would try to see a movie, you know, maybe twice a month. We almost always saw what was reasonable for him to see um, at the theater. And um, I would keep the tickets because we used to get really colorful tickets each different theater we went to. They were all colorful like these. Um, so I would keep the tickets and I still have those. And I've always intended uh, on turning them into like a big poster. I need to do that. that. That would be a great Christmas present for him. I love that. And he did too. He's asked me over the years once or twice, do you still have those? And I said, yep. Yes, I do. I have other ones too, but I don't usually, I, I kept all of the, um, the movie ones separate. I think I need to do that for him. Something for their new house. You know, uh, I think I mentioned that um, <clears throat> my eldest and his wife, bought a new house. Um, they're so excited about it. It's a beautiful house. Um, they well deserve it. Uh, but the entire, the entire uh, subdivision is brand new, all built by the same company. And almost every single house, their, uh, their air conditioning went out a week ago, a little over a week ago. And uh, apparently there was a bad part in all of them. This is a huge subdivision, and these are not cheap houses. And then they've all been having trouble getting um, getting the um, company to come deal with it. I think that it were there was it was something to do with the part it was hard to come by, but that's just crazy. And my daughter in law just she just cannot take the heat. And they also have a very large, very fluffy dog who cannot take the heat. So. I think their air conditioning got fixed yesterday, which I'm super excited for them. They went almost a week um, without it. So, okay, this is, I'm really interested in trying this. This is, my finger, I have such fat fingers. Yeah, that should still fit. This is meant to do when you're sewing, it's meant to help you move your fabric along. So as you're pushing something through, especially smaller things, you can use this to really kind of bring your fabric through. Because that sometimes is, is a difficulty. If you're not a sewer, um, that can be, you know, an actual problem of just trying to get it through. I mean, you can always get it through, It's, but it's nice to have something that might make that process a little easier. Okay, let me show you both of these at the same time. Um, this is the wax. Uh, for some of those wonderful wax stamps that I've gotten. I wanted blue for the Alice in Wonderland one uh, ones, but I also wanted this one to be a flat round. I just thought that that would be, it would be nice to have a perfect flat round for certain stamps. Some of them, it's nice to have them kind of a free form, a little bit blobby, that looks very older. Um, some of them, I think that would be really nice to have them just like that, that I can then center them on paper. Um, so, picked up those. I thought they were cool. Let me pull back a little bit because this is this is really close. All right, so these next ones. Now, in my last haul, I bought uh, one like this, and I really love it, and I use it literally all the time. Um, so the last time I bought this one, which I love, and they all have their nice little toppers. I keep that on there. 
Um, and then I realized that it would be really nice to have a few more of these when I'm actually working between like two sets of things so, or I'm trying to hold two things together. Um, and then sometimes it would be nice to have the straight, the straight one here. So I went ahead and got this set. I know that I'm going there. I know we have, I have plenty of uses for these. So that was fun. I think that was like under a dollar or something. Oh, so for some of my albums and possibly, wow, those are thicker. I bought this set of corners. This is actually very wide. Can you see that? That's going to be really interesting because that means that I have to have, when, if I'm going to use this on, um, on a book, the, the cover has to be quite thick. We'll see, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. I just don't think I was thinking about that or expecting that. This is like a pack of eight. So there's plenty in here for at least two. So we'll see. Um, so this is a set of, you, you, you can see it's wooden, uh, the wooden trees. And I just thought these would be fun to do a little set of ornaments. I wanna give these a try. I love to do the Mod Podge. I think it's just a fun change sometimes from some of the things that I'm doing. So I picked that one up and these were cheapest chips. I don't remember what else. This single round die, I believe goes, I'm gonna put this over here because I think it goes something over there. Uh, let me show you these next because I'm really excited to get into these. I bought two packs. I'm going to move this out of the way for a minute. I bought two packs of material this time. Now this is approximately, it's not quite four by four inches. I think it's supposed to be four by four, but it's not quite. If You can see that, but it's pretty close. And uh, normally when we get charm packs, they're five by five, but four by four works too. There's no reason why it wouldn't. Um, and these were supposed to be, what I saw was that these were supposedly off cuts of Moda. We'll see. The quality of the, I mean, I can tell you the quality of the fabric that I'm feeling. This is definitely a decent quality fabric. Um, so I wanted to try this. I have some small designs that I'm using. And I was also considering um, doing maybe some doll quilts. You would have to be able to get, I think I ordered, did I order two of the, the same brand? I was trying to figure out if I could get two that were so similar that I could use them together to make an actual quilt. And certainly if I combined this with, um, with a plain, back, not that one, uh, but with a plain background, I could probably get away with using, with doing you know, getting a, maybe a lap quilt out of this. Some of these are really pretty. Love that one. This one's gorgeous. I love the color on this one. So, I don't know. I don't know if I could get a whole quilt, even using a background, uh, maybe a white around it. It would definitely be a scrappy quilt. I've had, I had a lot of success with some of the um, strips of fabric. I do not like the way Team Moose sells their, uh, their strips of fabric. They're two, they, they do sell the two and a half inch, but they sell two and a half by 20, which is half the length of the fabric instead of the full length of the fabric that we get here when we're getting fabric strips. And I don't find their cloth when I actually do the uh, the math on this to see what am I paying per yard, this is not a particularly big savings, if it's a savings at all. I think sometimes it works out to be, most of the time it works out to be about $6 a yard, which isn't terrible. Um, and it comes fairly comparable if you compare it to the five inch ones and what we're charged for those. If you're a sewer, um, if you do quilts and things, um, then it, it comes pretty close to being about the same prices. All right, that was one of them. I have definitely seen this before through Amazon orders that I've done. 
Okay, so let's take a look at this one. I just flicked over all of my stickers. I just made a mess of the stickers. Did I see that in the last one? I love that pink one. So I think they're supposed to be 50 of these. I ha definitely have seen some of these patterns before. And um, in the uh, strips that I did, that I got from um, Amazon. This is really interesting to me because some of these are exactly the same as uh, some of the fabrics I got from Amazon about a year ago. Maybe a year and a half ago, I ordered a pack of um, strips. They were really nice and cheap. And they were 40 by two, you know, 40 inches by, or 42 inches by the two and a half. I definitely have that one. And, oh, I love that I got a bee in here. That's, that's cool. And um, I use them. I, I've made a whole bunch of different things with those. I, honestly, I've made a ton of different stuff with those. Uh, if you saw the video, look at, I'll try to link the video for the, um, the dishwasher, uh, the drying mats. I used a bunch of those on the drying mats. I forgot about that. Um, so I just think it's really interesting, but I've had those for a while. Guys, honestly, it might've been almost two years now. So to find more of that fabric popping up in this, is kind of fascinating to me. It really, it really is. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go back and look at my prices too and just sort of compare them. I think that material out of um, Timu is actually on the expensive side. I've, I'm sure I've said that before. I, I tend to be a repetitive person. I don't try to be. I don't want to be. See, I know I've got that one. I'm trying to go faster. I don't know if I can. I could speed this up. But then I would miss talking to you all. That's adorable. That one is just stinking cute. So you got an owl in that one. The fish. I'm liking, really liking this last, this bottom part of this. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, that's so stinking cute. I love that little piece. Now I'm going to have to find a way to center this tiny piece. <laughs> this single piece. Have, have you all ever seen like a yard of that somewhere? Let me know, please, please, if you've ever seen that before and where I might be able to get it. I think I've seen that one. <gasps> these are cute too. Look at these polar bears. I, I'm loving, for our Christmas uh, edition here, I love that we got a few Christmas-y, Christmas-ish type things. The trees are definitely Christmas-ish. And again, these are super nice fabric. I wish I had gotten a full fox face on there. That one's cute. With some gray stars that goes with everything. Oh, look at the polar bears and the, the bear. Okay. So those are cute. I wanted to do something kind of fun with those. And I think that that's going to be plenty for me to do fun stuff with. All right. So I'm just figuring out what's next, guys. There's so much here. Let's do these real quick. I say that real quick, right? All right. So I am fairly certain, yeah, that I bought this to go with this. Um, now I know that it's written in German. I did not see any English versions of this, but I really loved the stamps. So I thought I'm going to go ahead and get this version. I'm not, you know, as far as I know, I won't use those, but maybe, I mean, if, if I have, if any of you are from Germany and you're watching, um, you know, please let me know. I'd love to know what that says. I'm guessing something. I don't know. Um, but, uh, but you know, I just thought that was really cute. Um, so I, and, and it was fairly inexpensive. I want to say it was under a dollar. I'm going to wrestle these things loose. Okay. <laughs> and then there's another one. Um, all right. This guy is adorable. I had him in my basket for a while and I just decided I need to get him because I love bees. And, um, and that's just so stinking cute. I want to know if I have, I don't know. All right. I'm going a little bit faster because I actually do need to work today. And if I don't finish soon, I'm going to have, I'll, I may end up having to come back to you in a little bit. Um, this one is really cool. And here, this is for uh, cards or for albums or for anything. This is going to cut out um, this part for your paper, but it's not going to cut through the rest of the paper. So it gives you this nice little 
piece. It gives you this nice little indentation. And then this circle is the perfect one to go on the opposite sheet of paper so you can do like a fold over there. I think that's really cool. I thought that was really fun. There, British mailbox. I love that one. I think it's really cute. I had to get her. I'm going to see if I can bring you guys in a little bit. I just had, let me get her. Oh, her head is poking through. Let's just take her out, poor thing. She's trying to escape. She's just so beautiful. Um, I thought she was gorgeous. I may do her just in a straight white and then um, add color over the top of her. I don't know. Um, but to me, she's just like Christmas and Thanksgiving and all those great things. Okay. So this is the, you've got the Believe and you've got uh, Santa and the reindeer over the top of it. And I love this piece. I truly love this piece. I can't wait to use it. It's going to be perfect on a card. It almost takes the full amount of the card. You don't need a whole lot extra with that if you're using that one. Um, one moment, please. Okay, where were we? Let's see. I was showing you the most adorable stuff in the world. Okay. <laughs> My obligatory okay let me show you this guy and again i don't have prices for you this time so look at how cute this is i just thought this little guy was adorable cupcake that dog's on who knows what the, the dog is doing something under there i'm not sure i want to know what um so this is just this cute little uh elf clearly taking a baby elf for a sleigh ride. I thought that was adorable. This one, sometimes it's nice to have something that's an entire scene onto itself. And with this one, that's really what I thought it was. So, so what I, I, you know, what I think it is. This is going to be perfect. Now, let me show you. Pull out a little card here. So this part, the bottom part, that's an entire card right there stamp and all now if i'm going to use a, a bigger card that would work um i could stamp this one on a separate card stock and then put him on a couple of foam dots going like this way that would be really cute that would be super cute anyway love that one i'm mixing it up a little bit normally i show you all the dies i'm so organized i'm not as organized today i'm trying I'm gonna try. So I am taking the die, the uh, dies out of their wrapper just because so they're not so shiny. <laughs> okay, this is clearly to me this looks like Mickey Mouse, but it's such a cute little scene. You've got your two little Mickey's here. Um, you've got a tree, presents. You've got outfits, a bow tie, and a, a scarves and hats and little stockings. I think this one is just super cute. I thought that one was adorable, just adorable. Oh, this one. So this next one is one of my favorites. This is a, it's another one that I had in my cart for a while. I was like, oh, should I really get more? But I really love her so much. I'm like, eh, forget it. Offer me a good deal. Look how cute she is. I just love her. Look at the little be mine. And she's just so adorable. How can you say no to her? I can't. I couldn't. I could not do it. Okay. Next. Couldn't say no to the bees either. Yep. We've got some adorable little bees here. Uh, we've got a little crown. So one of these little bees can be like the queen bee. And then a little flower that goes with them. Oh, we got two crowns. Um, these are just so cute. And, you know, bees. They're bees. Can't, you know, can't say no to bees. I, let, let me show you this. So this next one is a set. Um, and of course you buy the pieces individually. Let's see if I can get into it. <laughs> oh my word. It should just not be this hard to get into. Um, so you buy these. There we go. You buy the pieces individually and this one in particular i wanted to show you um look what so as it traveled um 
it got kind of knocked around a little bit, but it didn't actually damage the die cut pieces themselves. Just these pieces holding them together, which is fine. It just makes it easier to come off. So um, that one is pretty cute. But I wanted to show you the stamp set that goes with it. Now this is this is interesting. I've got a whole pile of these. So here's the stamp set. Really cute. Wishing the happiest season of all. May the wonder of Christmas stay with you throughout the year. I bought this entire set for this. The rest of it's adorable and I'll use it. But this made in the North Pole reindeer air freight. That was the best ever. I was hoping they would have one of the wax seals um, like that. And I haven't seen a wax seal. And I wish that they would put one out just like that. Because I really want to do the wax seals with it. But barring that, so we have that one, that piece, and this piece. Got a lot of reflection going on here. So I've got the perfect little cutout for it right there. But I also have this cute little cutout right here. That's adorable. You've got the, um, let's see if I can do that one on. That one should go like this. Huh. Oh, there we go. Something like that. Oh. I'll get it. There we go. So I've got this one. We've got the sleigh. Too cute. You've got your little reindeer. And this one is not the same. So along with all of the pieces, all of the cutouts, and then I can make a little card from this because it's got the, um, the tag or I can make a tag from it. This is really nice. It has this extra reindeer here. And this is a reindeer that can be um, run through and you're going to get these indentations here, which is, which is really nice. So anyway, the two pieces together uh, were not cheap. I don't remember what they were exactly, but I, I do remember they weren't cheap. Um, but that's okay because they were stinking adorable and, you know, stinking adorable wins every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> All right. Let's see. This is the, this is the snowman that I almost reordered. Guys, you can't believe how many times I do that. Because I see it and it's just so cute. Um, I adore this one. Okay, so this one... Trying to, it says something about baking, baking friendship, something like that. I can't, I'd have to like do the imprint before I could see it, but this is all about baking. This is a little chef. These are all little chefs. You've got a chef hats. <laughs> that's so cute. Um, spritz, your spritz cookies. I think that's right. Oh no. Spirits. I'm trying to read backwards and upside down. Um, you've got your little spoons and apron and, um, a little gingerbread man, a little tiny one to go there. Uh, this is the cutest stinking set. I can't wait to start using this one. I actually think I'm going to use this one pretty much right away because I love him so much. And again, I, if the list is not in the description box... Just send, just send me a message and say, Sharon, you forgot to put the list in the description box. And I'll do it. I'll take care of it for you. Um, this is just the cutest little uh, cupcake. And so my thought here was, one, I could certainly, you know, do this for birthdays. But depending on the colors you use, this can be a Christmas cupcake or a Halloween cupcake or any time of the year. I just thought it was adorable and that it had a lot of usage. And, um, and that's what really got me, got me on that one. I was like, yeah, I think I can do a lot with that one and make it really interesting. Okay, our next one. So stinking cute. So cute. This is your hat. Here's the fluff that goes on the hat. So you're going to cut out your, it's clearly Mickey. You're going to cut out Mickey Mouse. You'll put on the hat over the top of that at jaunty if you like be jaunty and then you've got a little bit of um of greenery or things here to, to put in the hat so this is just so cute and since i have a lot of disney lovers in my family i thought i would go ahead and get that and make some things for them i always say it i'll continue to say it, you cannot sell something that is disney disney will come after you they protect their copyright that's okay all right couldn't say no to these adorable little doggies. 
Look at that little guy. Oh, these are so cute. This one reminds me of Sophia. Um, this one actually reminds me a little bit of Cupcake. So these are adorable. And what I was thinking about these is this would make a perfect card. So I can do a little card, have my little um, doggy looking over this way or possibly up here and have a Santa either in the foreground or the background um, as the dog's looking in. I haven't finalized what I'm going to do with that one, but I just thought they were so cute. Um, and I really, really am in Christmas mode, but I'm going to be in Halloween and Christmas mode really soon. Look at how cute this little guy is. I remember that he was only like, I don't know, he might have been like 89. He might have been just 33 cents. This was a very inexpensive little guy, but I do love him. And I thought, you get this little guy here with a Christmas tree, probably this way, driving towards the Christmas tree over here and a nice Christmas design in the background. And that's just so adorable. It's a little Christmas morning. Um, oh, so you, so we saw the, um, da, 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 the snowman, the baking snowman. So now I found this one. It's another one that I hung on to. I was looking at the sizes. So I was like, ah, oh, will I use it? Um, and then I realized I really will use this. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this one. In particular, for my recipe books. And I just thought the rest of the, um, the cover of the recipe books is actually about that size. Isn't that going to be cute with like recipe book here and a cute little apron and in, in uh, some form of, um, you know, whatever the design might be. I might even take one of the chef hats off of here and put a little chef hat up in there. Oh, that's so cute. I love that one so much. Okay. Let's see these little, these little ones. Oh. So one of the things that Timu does, or their distributors, whoever they're, you know, their companies that they work with, one of the things they do is that when they give us dimensions, they give us the entire thing. So they don't tell us how big this is. They tell us this entire thing. And then you're stuck kind of trying to figure out, well, what does that mean for each individual stamp? Well, these stamps are tiny. I mean, look at it in relation to my finger. They are really super tiny, but they're adorable. You know, you can easily make a little Christmas scene, maybe a big Christmas tree right here, and you can put them around the Christmas tree. They are so cute. Um, I did have some inkling that they would be a little bit on the small side. Again, I didn't think they would be this small, but that is just the way, you know, that's just the way Timu works. But... To ensure that I didn't have to stress it, I went ahead and bought this piece with them. And you can see, you know, here's my little sled. That's like a trim for the sled. Um, let's see, is there one to cut out? I don't see one to cut out Happy Winter. But for the kids, I just have to figure out which one's which. I think that's that one. I think that's that one. Um, and that might be her. Yeah. So they may go just like that, which is going to be very helpful. Um, you've got a little cutout for that teeny tiny candy cane. You've got a cutout for that little um, snowflake and the bigger ones and the um, mistletoe and the pack. Anyway, there's there's just a lot going on here, but I, I was really happy to, I waited for this to come in before I bought this. Uh, because I really knew that I wanted to buy those together, that it would make my life a lot easier. Um, not all of my stamps have that, but some of them do. A decent number of them do. I might have shown you... Hmm. Okay. This, this one, I had had to get this one. Number one, I, I very much like using a stamp that covers the whole card where it's really going to be, you know, mo it's going to cover up most of what I want to do for the card so I can make the background really simple. Um, I love these little happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Naughty or Nice, Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm sorry, Meowy Christmas and Merry Christmas. I don't think I realized there was a cat at the top of the tree, but it's really cute. 
And then you can get, a, you can uh, make your tags, but you can use whatever ink you want to and it actually turns it, you know, you're going to have a full color tag. Um, that little mouse is really cute too right there. So I thought this one was really adorable and all I could think was Charlie Brown Christmas. And it had me at the Charlie Brown Christmas. My husband is such a fan of, uh, of Charlie Brown. Now I have some pieces here that are a little bit, that are going to look a little odd. So I have this one. It goes with a stamp that I believe they put into the other bag. And I'm going to put that one aside. So if I once, once I come up with it, um, so all of these, I believe the, the, the other part of the stamp set came in the other, um, the other bag. So this is really cute. You, you probably can see there's a pie shape right there. That is so cute. So you kind of got the milkshakes and the pie shake and, um, really adorable. This one, I can't wait to show you. All right, I don't know if you can see this through here. Let me, let me open this one up just real quick and show this one to you before I finish up here. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's toast and jam and a toaster. <laughs> and I love it. I think it's so cute, but I also got the stamp set to go with this, which is really going to make it make more sense. So I'm going to put those aside for when that, like I said, when that one comes in, I will put them all together and um, we'll be able to just to see them better all together. I like it better when I can see them all together. So this next one is already halfway coming out of its baggie here. So let's just finish that off. This is so stinking cute. Okay, so it's a so the if you look beyond this, the the main outer pieces here and here, these are file pieces meant to work together. You can make that cool little um, Rolodex, a little Christmas album Rolodex, which is really cute. But this is fabulous. This piece here, which will actually cover a a A2 card pretty much a little background you do this and in, in maybe a couple of colors add them together and you're going to have this beautiful beautiful card with this full cutout um so you also have uh i really don't know <laughs> i'm trying to think about what these are um i'm not really sure what these are and i will look to see it looks like small tags of some kind um but i'll look further i love the little christmas sign and this looks like it's supposed to be a um, something, a slot for something. So, uh, but anyway, I will let you know what these are. I'll look for the for the uh, picture. But in particular, I really love. I bought it for this. I knew what this was, <laughs> and I thought it was lovely, and uh, and just kind of the perfect perfect thing for that one. Um, okay, let me get those out of the way. Those are all of the stamps and die cuts. That I got put that on the back and I'm going to I'm actually going to stop in a, in a few minutes and I'm going to bag these up otherwise I just don't like them rolling around and yeah you know, trying to get stuff put away quickly <laughs> it helps me <laughs> it helps me okay so I also I did get some paper this time I found this cute paper I had not seen it I think since then I've seen it one that's pretty similar um, it reminds me a lot of an Echo Park paper um, but I don't know for sure. I do like it. Their papers are one-sided, but look how cute that is. You could definitely use that for Christmas if you wanted to. It's almost like ticking on a, um, pillowcase. This one is a little bit too, and these are also very patriotic. Look at the little boats. That is so cute. This, is how, this one has little tiny anchors. You've got lighthouses, knots, um, looks like drinks. More, uh, more anchors, a type of anchor. Like beach houses, boys, seashells, and fish. So I think this one is adorable. I also, you know, for me, this is actually going to be more summer. So I'm going to put that aside with my summer papers. Um, 
And then we have this one, which is absolutely Christmas. I have not seen it. I haven't taken it out. This one, maybe one of the bigger ones that I've purchased. So this is, let me do this real quick. A, doo -doo -doo -doo. This is like almost eight inches by almost eight inches. It is a square, but these are adorable. These are cut aparts. Um, and, but you're going to have to be good at fussy cutting because there's no perforation or anything around them. It is just this. But I thought these were just fabulous. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Right, this is pretty. I do like this kind of trim. I think that's very useful for different things. Oh, wow. All right, I love the scene. I wonder how many I could get out of there. I mean, I definitely can get a whole scene onto one card, which I love because it's very much like a, um, oh my golly, like a watercolor, but I might be able to use a piece of it for something. Uh, yeah, I really, really like that one. Okay. So more cut aparts. There's some really cute ones on here. Um, wishing you the joy of the season. May Santa Claus have in his pack, my dear, everything you wished for through the year cute some very um older almost antique looking oh look at that that's cute oh my golly so i love this this is really cute so each one of these cards is going to be probably about two and a half by mm, almost by four just a little bit under that Christmas tree is fabulous. This looks like a um, postcard. Most of these do. All right. Really cute. These are really cute, I, but I think I might have a harder time using them. Maybe not these. I can stamp directly into those boxes, but we'll see if I, you know, have a hard time with that one. This one, honestly, is the one that convinced me. I just love these little, these little informational tidbits and the recipes in here. And I may use this with my recipe albums. Oh, that's cute. Look how cute that is. All right, I love the stockings. Oh, more cut parts. Oh, these are beautiful. Biscuit company here. The house and the cat with love, happy Christmas. These look like old Christmas cards and they may very well have been. All right, so this is really nice. It's a, you know, not a bright pink, but a heavy pink with almost the snow in it. Tag cut aparts. This is something, if I was gonna use this as a tag, you know, this paper is, it's not, you know, like notebook paper, but it's not like this either. It's not really cardstock. So I would probably just do a full cardstock, connect to the back and then cut them out, um, just to make my life easier. Actually, I think I have some um, die, uh, dies that I can do. There's a lot of cut aparts in this one. Um, this one is cute. I don't know that I'll have a lot of use for it. We'll see. We'll see whether I can find something interesting to do on those. I do like this is more of the gray with the, the snow, like the pink one before. This is pretty. I love that tree. I really like this border down here too. This looks to me... Oh yeah, you could definitely get, oh, it's cheery Christmas greetings. Oh, cute. You could get a two cherry Christmas greetings out of that bottom one. And wow, you'd have to be really careful, but you could use that entire tree. That's cute. These are always nice. If, you're, if you cut carefully, you can actually get that whole corner piece in your card. Oh yeah, you could really get that whole corner piece in your, uh, on your card. That's cute. Oh, look at this one. Oh, and I have, um, I definitely have um, die cuts for the circles. You would think I would have a die cut for every single circle, but not a two inch circle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just gotta laugh. These are adorable. And I would go ahead and mount these. So cut them out, mount them on something. I would probably triple mount or double mount. So mount them on top of something right away, put another mount underneath them. 
Um, and when I talk about mounting, I'm talking about something like this. So this was, um, if you watch the earring um, episode for the Timu Crafting, uh, I cut out different parts of this paper, but not this particular part. Then I went ahead and used this paper, um, did a bunch of circles. I have a bunch of these little ones. I found all different sizes just to use up that paper and not waste the rest of it. And, uh, and then I went ahead and mounted it to this backstock. And uh, I chose the light pink, although I do like that dark pink back there. And the paper, the backing, that was from Dollar Tree. That was a Dollar Tree pack. Okay, so that is all of the Christmas papers. So cute. Now, the piece de resistance. It's always the piece de resistance. All right, I'm gonna, we're gonna zoom in a little bit here. Y'all. Y'all ready for these? All right, so of course I have um, some of the charms that I make earrings. Now I did an earring, I just did an earring um, tutorial with doing the um, the wooden earrings. I still have a, a one coming out on these. I will tell you the one for these is just super short. All right, I thought these were fabulous. They're pieces of popcorn. Each one of these is popcorn kernels. It's what they are. They're so stinking cute. Um, I'm just loving them. I just really, I think these are fabulous. And when I put them like this, they really, really look like popcorn kernels. All right, so we're definitely gonna get popcorn earrings because, you know, you really need popcorn earrings. We all need popcorn earrings. Oh, I did buy more of the, um, these are the posts that I used to make the earrings. Bought a few more of those. I could not resist this. These are meant to be macaroons and they are wonderful. Now I'm not, they don't really look like macaroons to me. They're, they're all different cookies and different sweets and they're so cute. All right, so we have, we don't, they're not, they don't all match either. Hmm, okay, let's see what we do match. So we've got these and we've got some macaroons and we've got these cookies and then we've got these little baked goods, probably Claire's. And then I've got these two other ones, which is fine. Um, I don't mind having the extras because then I use those on junk journals and things on the ends of junk journals. So those are super cute. I did think I was getting... I was supposed to get one of each, but or two of each. I'll throw it back. All right, and then I found this one, and I, for whatever reason, this is just screaming fall. To me, it is. It looks like a little acorn house. I think that's what's it, what it's intended to be. It's intended to be a little acorn, and you've got that cute little sunflower on there. I mean, this is just so adorable. Um, I just think that's adorable. Love it. But I think I got 10 or 10 or 12 of those. So I keep making earrings. The one nice thing about making these earrings is that they are very, very nice and quick to make. And they're easy. They're super duper easy. So I like that. All right. This is the last one, guys. But again, only if I can get it open. <laughs> I thought these were so cute, these little candies. And they are little. They're the perfect small size. So if you don't want some of the big ones that we've looked at, because a lot of the ones that I show you, a lot of the charms are quite big. Uh, these are not. These are just these very, very cute little candies. These little Christmas candies, these little almost peppermints, I guess, or uh, candy cane candies. <laughs> Anyway, that is it. That all. That is all I have for you today. Um, stay tuned uh, because before, so I should have for you on the 31st, the last installment of Christmas in July, which makes me sad because it was really fun. Um, and that's going to be, I have another Timu haul for you and I have a card making, although the card making could come later. I will not stop doing Christmas videos at this point. Um, I'm going to keep doing Christmas videos here and there and everywhere. Uh, 
uh, from now through, you know, until Christmas. Um, because this is how we start, you know, as crafters, this is what we do. We, you know, we start getting ready pretty early in order to get done. So um, anyway, that is it. Thank you so, so much for being with me today. I really appreciate it. I appreciate your being here. I appreciate your friendship. Um, you're just so appreciated. You are. Um, I will see you next time. Cheers.